Welcome back to Monday Grub Bag. Yes, welcome. We have a great one for you today, including a very serious answer to a very serious question. Mm -hmm. What would I do if Hannah decided to take another lover? I don't like the phrasing. How about like if Hannah decided to leave you? Take another lover. I don't like take another lover. I think your answer will surprise you because we're going to be really specific. <laughs> um, and so I'm excited about that. We'll get to that in a minute. And we have a few other questions mm -hmm. that are juicy as well. Yes, we do. So I say we dive right in, head first. This first one is juicy. If you were approached to do a reality TV show, would you consider doing it? Hannah and her lovers. <laughs> That's the idea, right? Uh huh. Do you know how many times we've been approached to do a <laughs> oh reality God, TV a show? A lot, more than I can count. Yeah. We've taken so many meetings yeah. in hopes of, you know, Hearing out these ideas. Yeah. None have come to fruition. No, <laughs> no. Some we've we've, you know, felt drawn to, we like the premise, whatever, and they just don't pan out. Some we turn down immediately because it's very clear that it's not a good fit. So Yeah. I think our biggest priority in the reality show endeavor is that we do good by the disability community. Yeah. You know, we don't want our story to be used in a way that makes disability out to be a negative thing. Yeah. And often for drama, you know, that's part of these show ideas. And for our personal <laughs> selves, oh, too, yeah. for our own life, you know, obviously we don't want to be in a show that's all about creating friction. Yeah. Like, we don't have a lot of drama, so I think that's probably why a show would not be great for us. <laughs> a director in our house being like, hey, um, gotta can fight. you just fight? <laughs> like, I don't know, do something. Maybe take a lover. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question number two. Are you guys still going to do your podcast when you're in LA? Yes. Yes, we will. We are actually going to be recording in a real studio, I believe. Yes. Our podcast company has a studio, coincidentally, like right near where we're staying. Yeah. And uh, so I think we're going to be recording there. Yeah, because bringing all of our equipment is possible. But would it would be nice to not have to do that? It'd be so. like a whole other car. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a lot of stuff. So hopefully we can record at the studio. But either way, we're gonna keep doing it. Speaking of our podcast, if you haven't seen this past week's episode, the most recent one, yeah, yeah the most recent one, it was about our New York City trip, very early on in our relationship. That was a very defining moment for us. Led to our matching tattoos. Yes, uh, which. Speaking of which, is uh, our matching <laughs> tattoos are a battery symbol, and we have new merch of that symbol. Yeah, we wanted to let you all know. We put it in like a pinned comment last week yeah. because we forgot to say it in the video, like you know, brilliant YouTubers. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we have new merch. Uh, I designed one of the pieces, so mm -hmm. can you pat me on the back because I'm very proud of my graphic design skills. They're really cool. And then the battery, you know, hoodie that we have is about a really important moment in our life. So. If you have a Urban Drums fan yeah. in your family or your, you know, group. Or yourself. Or yourself. If you're one, because you're watching this video. <laughs> and check out the episode <laughs> and the merch. Go put the merch link below. Thank you. What is Shane's official review of his Jayco arm? Does he still use it? Yes. Official review. As many, many, many of you have noticed, it has not been on my wheelchair in quite some time. Yeah. That doesn't mean that it wasn't helpful. Doesn't mean that I don't like it. Yeah. It means that there are ongoing difficulties um, with effectively using it. Yeah. And so having it on my chair where it can get damaged while I'm not using it uh, feels silly. Yeah. Can, can you explain very briefly? I feel like we have. We have, but like yeah. every video we get a hundred questions. I know. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. Where's the jet show? Essentially, it's, it's just a, a bunch of different things. Shane right now can't use his wheelchair joystick Very without nice. assistance, like someone giving it to him. So yeah. like if he's set up on his phone or his computer or having a snack or whatever, he cannot transition to using his wheelchair because he cannot reach the joystick. It's too high. Right. So we're like, oh great, in your new chair, when that finally gets figured out, then you'll hopefully be able to reach the joystick on your own and then that'll be more useful. The Jayco is controlled through the joystick. So that means that Shane can't just be like sitting, eating a snack and then use the Jayco. He can only use it when his hand is already up that someone has like put it there for him. Right. And that those like those moments are not very common. Yes. Where Shane would just be like 
home alone with his hand on his joystick, unable to eat, use his phone, yeah. use his computer, do anything except for use the joystick. Like, so it right now, it's just not very practical. It's not practical. It's a wildly useful device yeah. when I can use it effectively. Yeah. Also, I'm going to get ahead of all the comments saying, why aren't you even in your wheelchair yet? We just explained that in a recent video, yeah. uh, a Monday drug bag video. So go back, a couple episodes, yeah. and their answer is there. Similar There's issues. A million reasons, but yeah. that's my review. Yeah. Okay. So eventually it'll be very useful. It is useful in very specific situations, but unfortunately right now those situations are few and far between. Yes. All right, next question. This next one might tell us a fight. What is your formal education, and if you know it, can you tell us your tested IQ? <laughs> Many years ago, early on in our relationship, we got really into whose IQ was higher because I have a memory. We were also, we were long distance. There was very little to do. We got into arguments about whose anything was higher. This was just one phase. How can we compete with one another? Yeah. Like who great, was better at pool? Great relationship. On the phone, who was better at... <laughs> Random games. Yeah, and I was better at all of them. But, okay, I have a memory of being seven or eight years old and testing into the, like, gifted program. Uh, for that, I did an IQ test. And wow. I remember it being 132. I don't know what that means as a seven-year-old. You really remember that? Or if it was even accurate. Maybe I'm misremembering. Yeah. But I have that number burned into my mind. I did, I never took one. I did I did like at some point I was told that I should skip a grade from like kindergarten I should skip first grade or something and my parents said no because they were like then she's going to be a year older younger. younger. Yeah, yeah. Like when she goes to college they were like looking down the road and I'm glad I was not emotionally ready to like skip a year. <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't. But I, I don't I don't remember taking like a test. I don't know. Well, I remember when we began talking about this. Yeah. Hannah's SAT scores were way higher than mine, and I, like, felt like Hannah was way smarter than me, so I was like, you know, if that number is accurate for me, yours must be way higher. So we began taking, like, fake IQ yeah. tests online, they were, like, free, and she beat me in all of I don't them. remember this at all. Like, really? this is as if it didn't happen. Yeah, I can't remember We got into, like, disagreements about I it. I believe it. Because I know we've argued about, like, SAT <laughs> score and stuff like that, but I don't remember taking... Because then I, I was upset. I was like, it really is 142. <laughs> like, I think I remember that. And yeah, I was only seven. It was like, what color is this? Yeah. You know, but... My dad took a, uh IQ test when he joined the army when he was like 18 and he wow. tested into Mensa. That's so cool. But he didn't join You're because he was so like, smart. what does that mean? <laughs> yeah. Okay, here's the here's the great question. What would you do if Hannah took a lover? If Hannah took a new lover. Does that mean I'm leaving you? Like I assume so. Would you be I assume me you're and... not keeping a lover in me. My new lover? Hannah is leaving me for another lover. What would I do? I would be crushed, mm -hmm. my life would be over in all sense of, you know, other than like the fact that I would continue to be alive, everything that I can be happy about is done. Thank you. I would probably move back to Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. probably back here with my parents, where I would need to re- set up my whole life. Yeah. I would not be doing a YouTube channel. Mm. Uh, it would offend everything. Yes. That is what I would do. Is it polite for you <laughs> to ask me that question? Oh my god. No. No. No, it isn't. And we get that question yeah. in a variety of forms. That was the nicer oh, yeah. of the way that that was asked. Often they're asked what would like, you do? That's very polite. Often they're like, she's going to leave him. Yeah. Then what? Or that she already has lovers on the side. Oh, yeah. That's but we common. get asked this all the time. Yeah. And at least in our normal life, we are not going around to our friends and family being like, hey, you know, cousin, what are you going to do <laughs> if your husband leaves you? It's not something you ask people in like polite, normal 
reasonable yeah. conversation. Or even people online. I don't see a lot of other couples who are like on various oh. social media apps with followings. Oh, I don't yeah. see a lot of comments on there being like, he's going to leave her. She's uh, going to leave him. Like, I, like, you don't really see that very often. And it comes back to this assumption that, you know, our relationship is fake yeah. because I'm disabled. Hannah had never loved me. I could never be a valuable, worthy partner. Yeah. It's all nonsense. Yeah. And it's frustrating to like go through our happy comment section and read like thousands of comments that are like, what's gonna happen when she leaves him? Yeah. She's on her way out, you know. Like <sighs> Yep. Hannah, what would you do if I had to love her? I, the same thing as you. Everything would be ruined. You'd move back and live with my, my parents. My whole life would fall apart. And I would not move to Pennsylvania to live with your parents. Maybe I would. Who knows? Would you stay here with my parents? Because then I would need somewhere to go. If I to all over? Yeah. Oh, I'm keeping the house. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> uh, I wanted to address that one. It's really frustrating. Yeah. yeah. As are all the comments that assume that I'm not valuable. So yeah. Stop doing that, please. Well, wow, that's not going to work, <sighs> but... And I will not be taking a lover. No. At least as far as I'm aware. Yeah. Um, if we can make it through at the holidays, I'll count my lucky stars. <laughs> I know it's not gonna last long. You're right. Alright everyone. Alright, that was Monday Grub Bag. Monday Grub Bag. Check out our merch. Oh yep. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.